So Kip, tell us more about uh, Boreo and his performance in this uh, hydroponic centre. Uh, okay, thank you. Munya. So, as you mentioned, we use Boreo for national tested seeds for cucumbers. Uh, one of our main crops at Bajiko is cucumbers, so we take their health and performance very seriously. And uh, we've tried out many different varieties over the years, and we've come to see that uh, Boreo for national tested seeds really performs well in our hydroponic setups, and it gives us the best yields, the best results, and is very resistant to uh, many diseases that are faced in cucumber production. Uh, so, what other techniques have you used, which is quite different from everyone who's doing greenhouse across the country? Oh, okay, thank you. So, yeah, let me introduce something here. So, uh, at Vitagro, what we do is we, we believe in the health of our consumers. Uh, we take that very seriously. It's not just about farming and making money, but it's also making sure that we give uh, fresh, nutritious, and healthy produce uh, to all our consumers and customers. So, we don't spray any pesticides. What we do here is we use uh, what are called biopests or biological pest control. So, what that means is we actually introduce some biological predators to fight various pests in our greenhouses, such as red spider mite, white fly, drips. So what that does is it creates uh, an ecosystem in the greenhouse whereby they control the predators and the prey, control the numbers and then we do not have to spray pesticides. So at Vitagro, we are very happy to say we are pesticide free. So normally if, if, if Boreo is performing very well, how many plants, do, how, how many uh, fruits do you expect from one plant? Okay, so uh, Boreo is performing very well, we are in summer and the conditions are great. We expect uh, between 15 to 18 plants, uh, uh, fruits per plant. Uh, that's a huge season. jump. That's a very big jump. So apart from uh, other temperature control measures, which ones do you use? I, I have to use uh, sensors to detect your humidity. What, what's the benefit of, of technology controlling your temperature? Okay, uh, so that's a very good question. So here at Vitagro, we really believe uh, in using agriculture uh, technology to aid uh, agriculture. So they call it agri-tech. So why, why do that? Right? Why go through all of these things? It's because as a farmer, uh, your main target is to produce and get uh, consistent results. So we've seen that there's a new wave going on in different countries all over the world where they're using technology to enhance their farming methods. So our first technology is our hydroponics, obviously. And then now we are using, uh, we've now integrated sensors. You can see some of these sensors up here. So what these sensors do is that they sense the temperature and humidity in the greenhouse so that at all times you can actually uh, have it on your dashboard, on your phone, tablet, laptop, and you see how that greenhouse is performing. What's the temperature like? What's the humidity like? And why is this important? Again, it's because for a cucumber or any plant to thrive, it really needs the, uh, the correct conditions uh, for it to thrive. So here what we do is we measure all these, and then we are automating things like fans, uh, humidifiers, to make sure that the temperature and humidity is always consistent. And we also automate our irrigation systems. So for example, if you don't have a lot of labor, or you go to work and do something like that, you can actually leave your farm money yourself with little to minimum labor. And that is very beneficial to you, and it will actually help you achieve the techniques. Okay, thank you, Kip, for your time and the uh, information that you've shared with, with, with other farmers. Uh, we hope to see you soon. Thank you. Thank you very much, Julian. Thank you very much to the National Assistance Institute.